Erectile Dysfunction, Wikipedia Audio Erectile Dysfunction, also known as impotence, is a type of sexual dysfunction characterized by the inability to develop or maintain an erection of the penis during sexual activity. Erectile dysfunction can have psychological consequences as it can be tied to relationship difficulties and self-image. The most important organic causes of impotence are cardiovascular disease and diabetes, neurological problems, hormonal insufficiencies, and drug side effects. Psychological impotence is where erection or penetration fails due to thoughts or feelings rather than physical impossibility, this is somewhat less frequent but can often be helped. In psychological impotence, there is a strong response to placebo treatment. Besides treating the underlying causes such as potassium deficiency or arsenic contamination of drinking water, the first-line treatment of erectile dysfunction consists of a trial of PDE5 inhibitor. In some cases, treatment can involve prostaglandin tablets in the urethra, injections into the penis, a penile prosthesis, a penis pump or vascular reconstructive surgery. Signs and Symptoms Erectile dysfunction is characterized by the regular or repeated inability to obtain or maintain an erection. Surgical intervention for a number of conditions may remove anatomical structures necessary to erection, damage nerves, or impair blood supply. Erectile dysfunction is a common complication of treatments for prostate cancer, including prostatectomy and destruction of the prostate by external beam radiation, although the prostate gland itself is not necessary to achieve an erection. As far as inguinal hernia surgery is concerned, in most cases, and in the absence of postoperative complications, the operative repair can lead to a recovery of the sexual life of patients with preoperative sexual dysfunction, while, in most cases, it does not affect patients with a preoperative normal sexual life. Obtaining full erections at some times, such as nocturnal penile tumescence when asleep, tends to suggest that the physical structures are functionally working. Other factors leading to erectile dysfunction are diabetes mellitus. ED can also be associated with bicycling due to both neurological and vascular problems due to compression. The increased risk appears to be about 1.7-fold. Concerns that use of pornography can cause erectile dysfunction have not been substantiated in epidemiological studies according to a 2015 literature review. However, another review and case studies article maintains that use of pornography does indeed cause erectile dysfunction, and critiques the previously described literature review. Penile erection is managed by two mechanisms. The reflex erection, which is achieved by directly touching the penile shaft, and the psychogenic erection, which is achieved by erotic or emotional stimuli. The former uses the peripheral nerves and the lower parts of the spinal cord, whereas the latter uses the limbic system of the brain. In both cases, an intact neural system is required for a successful and complete erection. Stimulation of the penile shaft by the nervous system leads to the secretion of nitric oxide, which causes the relaxation of smooth muscles of corpora cavernosa, and subsequently penile erection. Additionally, adequate levels of testosterone and an intact pituitary gland are required for the development of a healthy erectile system. As can be understood from the mechanisms of a normal erection, Impotence may develop due to hormonal deficiency, disorders of the neural system, lack of adequate penile blood supply or psychological problems. Spinal cord injury causes sexual dysfunction including ED. 
Restriction of blood flow can arise from impaired endothelial function due to the usual causes associated with coronary artery disease, but can also be caused by prolonged exposure to bright light. It is analyzed in several ways. There are no formal tests to diagnose erectile dysfunction. Some blood tests are generally done to exclude underlying disease such as hypogonadism and prolactinoma. Impotence is also related to generally poor physical health, poor dietary habits, obesity, and most specifically cardiovascular disease such as coronary artery disease and peripheral vascular disease. Therefore, a thorough physical examination is helpful in particular the simple search for a previously undetected groin hernia since it can affect sexual functions in men and is easily curable. Erectile Dysfunction at Cully A useful and simple way to distinguish between physiological and psychological impotence is to determine whether the patient ever has an erection. If never, the problem is likely to be physiological, if sometimes, it could be physiological or psychological. The current Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Diseases has included a listing for impotence. Treatment depends on the cause. Causes Exercise, particularly aerobic exercise during midlife is effective for preventing ED. Exercise as a treatment is under investigation. Six. 1819 for tobacco smokers, cessation results in a significant improvement. Oral pharmacotherapy and vacuum erection devices are first-line treatments, 20, 24 followed by injections of drugs into the penis, and penile implants, 25, 26. The PDE5 inhibitors sildenafil, vardenafil, and tadalafil are prescription drugs which are taken orally. 2021. A cream combining alprostadiol with the permeation enhancer DAPE has been approved in Canada as a first line treatment for erectile dysfunction. One of the following medications may be injected into the penis papaverine, phentolamine, and prostaglandin E1. 25. A vacuum erection device helps draw blood into the penis by applying negative pressure. This type of device is sometimes referred to as penis pump and may be used just prior to sexual intercourse. Several types of FDA-approved vacuum therapy devices are available with a doctor's prescription. When pharmacological methods fail, a purpose-designed external vacuum pump can be used to attain erection, with a separate compression ring fitted to the penis to maintain it. These pumps should be distinguished from other penis pumps which, rather than being used for temporary treatment of impotence, are claimed to increase penis length if used frequently, or vibrate as an aid to masturbation. More drastically, Inflatable or rigid penile implants may be fitted surgically. Often, as a last resort if other treatments have failed, the most common procedure is prosthetic implants which involves the insertion of artificial rods into the penis. 26. Pathophysiology Diagnosis the FDA does not recommend alternative therapies to treat sexual dysfunction. Many products are advertised as herbal Viagra or natural sexual enhancement products, but no clinical trials or scientific studies support the effectiveness of these products for the treatment of erectile dysfunction, and synthetic chemical compounds similar to sildenafil have been found as adulterants in many of these products. The United States Food and Drug Administration has warned consumers that any sexual enhancement product that claims to work as well as prescription products is likely to contain such a contaminant. Treatment Medication Pumps Surgery Alternative Medicine
During the late 16th and 17th centuries in France, male impotence was considered a crime, as well as legal grounds for a divorce. The practice, which involved inspection of the complainants by court experts, was declared obscene in 1677. John R. Brinkley initiated a boom in male impotence cures in the U.S. in the 1920s and 1930s. His radio programs recommended expensive goat gland implants and mercurochrome injections as the path to restored male virility, including operations by surgeon Serge Voronov. Modern drug therapy for Ed made a significant advance in 1983, when British physiologist Giles Brindley dropped his trousers and demonstrated to a shocked Eurodynamics Society audience his papaverine-induced erection. The drug Brindley injected into his penis was a nonspecific vasodilator, an alpha-blocking agent, and the mechanism of action was clearly corporal smooth muscle relaxation. The effect that Brindley discovered established the fundamentals for the later development of specific, safe, and orally effective drug therapies. History The Latin term impotentia coendi describes simple inability to insert the penis into the vagina, it is now mostly replaced by more precise terms, such as erectile dysfunction. The study of erectile dysfunction within medicine is covered by andrology, a subfield within urology. Research indicates that erectile dysfunction is common, and it is suggested that approximately 40% of males with erectile dysfunction or impotence, at least occasionally. The condition is also on occasion called phallic impotence. Its antonym or opposite condition is priapism. Lexicology